it's the client or the consumer that is gaining something um, towards the PNBZ Low MasterCard is almost the same with Simplicity Credit Card from Citibank. It's Ellie Lamarvel and today is Credit Card Monday. So pag-uusapan natin yung PNBZ Low MasterCard and mag-focus tayo first sa requirement and eligibility of getting this card. Second is the card feature and benefits. And then lastly, why you should get this credit card. So without further ado, let's start. So requirement or eligibility of getting this card, you must be 21 to 65 years of age. And then the annual income requirement is at least 120,000 pesos. Para naman kami mga single, I ask them, mga walang uh, trabaho or hindi kumikita ng 120,000 annually. As long as you're an existing credit card holder or an existing client ni PNB, pwede ka po mag-apply sa card na ito. Um, you must be employed. If hindi naman employed, you have or you must have a registered business. Paano naman po kaming walang mga income pero walang trabaho pero meron kaming pera kasi may remittance. So again, as long as you're an existing um, credit card holder or an existing client ni PNB, pwede ka po mag-apply and mas mataas yung chance na ma-approve ka sa credit card na to. So pretty much yun lang naman yung requirement in order for you to apply for this card. Now second, the card feature and benefits of PNB uh, Zillo MasterCard. First, this card comes with no annual fee for life. Second, no late payment fees. And then third, no over limit fees. Maganda ba yun? Definitely yes. Napakaganda po nung card na walang annual fee. At the same time, walang late payment fee and walang over limit fees. With other bank kasi, uh, magbabayad ka ng 500 to 1,000 pesos pag na late ka. And then, 500 to 1,000 pesos as well pag na-over limit ka sa credit card mo. Although, hindi ka naman pwede mag-over limit like up to 100%. Most likely, mga 10% or 5% lang yan ng uh, credit limit mo. And then, and then yung um, annual fee, you can definitely use the card without you paying any maintenance at all. So, maganda po yan. Um, they have lower finance charge which is 1.88% sorry. So, Lahat kasi ng credit card dito sa, sa Pilipinas or yung mga banks, naka-align po sila sa Banko Central. And then before, um, the advice is like 3.5% monthly. And then bumaba po siya ng 3 until now, it's actually 2% na. So lahat po yan like centralized. Pero meron talang mga bank or may mga specific cards that they offer so much more. So example na dito si uh, PNB Zillow which is 1.88%. Uh, free annual fee for life for all your PNB supplementary credit cards. So, pwede ka mag-add ng supplementary like your mom, your dad, mga kapatid mo. Wala din pong babayarang maintenance yan. They also have like a lower minimum amount due. Um, you can pay your bill in peso even for, for transaction abroad. So, this is something common naman with other uh, credit card company. Global and online acceptance. Same goes with that as well as contactless payment. PNB Zillow MasterCard also offers installment programs such as balance transfer, balance conversion, convert to cash, um, and 0% installments in mga affiliated stores nationwide. So this is something as well common with other credit card company. They also offer discounts and promotion. If you wanted to know more about that, link is on the description below or details is on the description below. So pretty much, yun lang naman yung mga uh, feature and benefits that you can take advantage of this uh, credit card. Now lastly, why you should get this credit card. Before that question, um, do I earn rewards or points when using this credit card? Well, the answer is no. Wala po kayong ma-earn na rewards, wala din po kayong ma-earn na points. Wala talaga at all. Worth it po ba to apply for this card or to keep this card? Definitely yes. Especially po sa mga like beginners pa lang sa credit card. Yung mga taong hindi naman masyado gumagamit ng credit card, ginagamit lang nila for emergency. Kasi po kahit nakatambak yung card dyan, wala po kayong maintenance na babayaran. Again po, kahit po kayong mamalate, um, sa bayad nyo, kahit po kayo mag-over limit sa um, credit card nyo, wala po kayong babayarang fees at all. Ang downside lang po dyan is that 
um, masisira yung credit history mo or credit record mo. And that could lead you a problem in the future pag nag-apply ka ng ibang credit card or nag-apply ka ng car loan, housing loan, mga ganyan, salary loan. So, mas maganda na rin yung um, as much as possible, ayusin natin yung credit card. So, alam mo yung um, ginagamit mo yung card or nangungutang ka without you paying any fees at all. Without you paying any maintenance at all. If you've been watching my previous videos, lagi kong um, in-explain doon na it's not the bank um, that is gaining something or gaining, gaining revenue to their client. It's the client or the consumer that is gaining something um, towards the bank, especially if um, you're earning rewards or points. Kasi nga, as long as they're paying the um, statement balance in full, wala ka talagang babayarang um, fees. Kung magkano yung ginamit mo, yun lang din yung babayaran mo. So, para ka nang utang. Let's say, for example, nag-purchase ka ng January 1st, binayaran mo siya nung, uh, um, on February 20, which is your due date, or February 15, depende na sa due date mo. So, para nang utang ka na isang buwan mahigit, na wala kang binabayaran na extra. Ganun ka ganda. So, as long as um, you can manage the card um, properly, again, it is you who's gaining something out of the bank. So, pretty much, yun lang naman siya. Um, if you wanted to apply for this credit card, you can definitely um, apply online. Link is in the description below. You can call their hotline. Pwede ka rin um, pumunta sa mga PNB branch. So, I guess that's the main reason why you should keep this card or why, should, why you should get this uh, PNB Zero Master Card. So, again, this is Ellie the Marvel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!